Good morning, people. 1018. I hope you kings and queens out there are recognizing your authority. You have dominion. That's in Genesis chapter 1. And happy, sad, glad, or mad, it's all about what you face. What is your mirror? What do you put in your face on a regular basis? You got social media feeds that feed you information, that feed you thoughts, that feed you ideas. You got the Bible, which teaches you how to live and navigate timeless, timeless wisdom. Wisdom, because knowledge is just a knowing. Wisdom is the application of it that is going to get you the desired result, the good result, the beneficial result. So when we continue to pay attention to, and I'm talking about what I used to do. I'm talking, I'm talking from experience. When we continue to pay attention to the coulda, shoulda, woulda, the regret, the upset, the man, that dude just brushed past me and I'm up here turning the other cheek. I'm trying to do what God said, but hmm, is that, is it worth, is it worth me putting myself in a bad situation just to just to make somebody who really don't matter respect me, my immature mind? And even sometimes when I'm already upset, you know, the devil send little triggers to try and get you to shoot those old bullets that you should have uh, got rid of. Meaning sometimes when you're upset certain in, um, inflammatory incidents will happen that will try and get you to revert to your old self. That's why we die to self daily. And I have to daily renew my mind, daily subject myself to things that's gonna project me in a place and a space that's gonna keep me at peace, that keep me in the love walk that keep me in remembrance of God fights for me. God comforts me. God provides for me. God protects me. I just have to do what he said. Just like, you know, on the previous post, I said I had a, you know, I got a flat tire because I wasn't listening to God saying, get out. He was trying to protect me, but you know, my mind so stuck on what I want to do about the situation that calamity struck. So, When are you going to accept God's grace and mercy for your life? Yes, we all gonna have sad times. We all gonna have upset times. But the increased amount of those negative times and the duration of those negative times depends on how your mind is wired, programmed, focused, and what foundation you have to get past it. I have learned that being thankful in all things will help you get the lesson, get the blessing, stop the stressing, and keep pressing forward to your future, which God promised to give you a future and a hope, something good. Everything from God is good. Even the uncomfortable times, because sometimes he, he got he got to shake you up to get that 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 that, that dust off of you, that trash off of you, to get the crap out of you. That's what I really want to say. Because sometimes we so full of crap that we can't even move, and we need that movement to to to, to get that stuff gone out of our system, so something else can be put in there. So the greatest commandment is still love God first. Meaning do what he said. If you love, you act. If you love, you act. You do what you told to do. You don't sit up here and steadily go against what God say. Especially when he talking to you on a regular basis. The closer you get to God, the more he gonna talk to you directly. Not saying you don't need to read the Bible anymore, but just the more he's gonna give you 
conversation and direction on how your life should flow. And when you keep saying you're going to stop something that you know is wrong for you, that you know God is leading you out of, that you know in your spirit you need to stop doing, that you know that you keep feeling uncomfortable about, the more you hold on, the more them unexpected incidents going to come up in life. I'll never forget. Man, I was in love with this chick. She was uh, just bad on all. I mean, <laughs> what I'm saying bad, I'm talking slang bad. But she, 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 when I say it, it, it was a uh, 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 lust of the flesh and a lust of the eyes, but it, it, it wasn't a fruitful relationship. There was no favor there. But I knew I had to let it go. As soon as I let it, let the relationship go, a few months later, she meets her husband. And I'm happy for her. But I, but I was disobedient. I put a memory in that woman's life that she didn't need to have, that she could have with her husband. Or, you know, or they could have met soon. Or got together soon. So, I've learned that we can't keep being disobedient and everything ain't about us sometimes we have to just recognize that if you serving God you gotta serve him love him and then that goes back to loving yourself because the more you love yourself the more you Set boundaries. Say you're not going to do certain things. Stop doing things that you know are hurting you. Whether it involves somebody else or just something you inflicting on yourself. For example, I had to, oh my God. Ugh. These pecan butter chocolate chunk cookies. <laughs> my crack. When I tell you my, but they didn't love me. Steak. Oh my God. Ugh. Ribeye. I had to stop and just stop eating it on the regular and just do it in moderation. Cheat days, you know, and, and, and spread my cheat days thin because my body's like, hey, uh, this is not working for me. <laughs> I, uh, I know you wanna indulge in this delectable meal, but uh, they're not working right here. <laughs> I need you to do something else. <laughs> when it came down to getting proper rest, learning to just shut down sometimes, so my brain could rest from certain things. Just, just learn to do nothing, just have idle time. Just, and it ain't got to be like, a whole day and stuff like that but just just learn to enjoy time not doing anything give 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 god time to speak to you without you being everybody something at work or, or, or doing something for family or chasing whatever you're trying to do and then i mean another thing i had to stop chasing money now nah, I, I ain't gonna look, 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 job come i'm going to go get it but at the same time i walk from a job somebody <laughs> if, if the deal not good I, I i just learned you know what they just cut ties and call it easy. i'm moving forward you can't you can't love your love yourself and keep putting yourself in in bad situations compromising situations around people who don't care and if you want better you gotta do better and you gotta know what is for you understand that stay in your purpose stay in your flow if you don't know your purpose, keep asking God to show you your purpose. It's, it's, it's always around your gifts 
the things you naturally, the talents that he gave you. I mean, that's just it. it, it it's not rocket science. It's just acceptance. And, and that's the hard part, accepting who you are, accepting the, the, the nice person that you are versus trying to be this image of somebody else that that is not working for you, that hurts you more than it pro protects you from what you feel like you need to be protected from. Whether it's being a thug, trying to be a super millionaire, trying to be all this stuff that just, it's just not, it's not your lane. So I say all this to say, when you know better, you can do better. And that's why it's important to be a lifelong learner. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to listen to anybody. You don't have to listen to God. But life gonna keep talking to you. And events gonna keep happening that may not be the most comfortable for you to handle. So at some point, you gonna recognize that behind the soft because their head is hard. And then when you learn to soften that heart enough to hear from God and be more obedient and be more faithful and trust God more and listen to what he says more, that's when you love yourself. When you set up boundaries with folks that, that you're, not, you're not doing more for them than you're doing for God. That, that you're not people pleasing, serving people to, to get their um, favor versus, hey, I, I'm just doing the right thing, not the good thing. Because good is the enemy of great and oftentimes gets in the way of divine vines being connected to help people get out of their own way because as long as you they source guess what <laughs> as long as you a person source they they won't learn to come to god on their own and finally loving your neighbor as yourself good transition when you love yourself you know what you had to go through to love yourself you know what boundaries you had to set up to love yourself when you love yourself you can relate to somebody else and say you you can you can have a better ear for discernment of saying I, I don't really need to do this for this person this person need to grow up uh you know what this person going through a hard time and my ear is here and i just be an open vessel to receive uh, uh, whatever the Holy Spirit is telling me to tell them or to just not say anything at all. Just listen, just give them a sound board. Let them hear themselves talk as they talk to me. To be a comfort, to edify, to speak well over, to bless, to, hey, God's leading me to sow into your life, whatever it is. And without a relationship with God, the whole trinity of love God, love yourself, love your neighbor. It has no foundation, which goes to 1 Corinthians 3. What foundation have you put in your life for you to see who you are in order to know what you need to do to stop being sad, mad, frustrated, disgusted? Even when it comes down to raising your children, stop giving your children what you wanted as a child. Give them what you know was good for you as a child that helped you to be an adult. You only have so much time with these children to help them become independent and good citizens in this world. Your job as a parent is to model God as much as you can. Not be God over them. To model love. To model mercy, grace, truth. Grace and truth, I'm sorry. To be a blessing to them, an encouragement, a good word. So that they can, when they hear about God, they have some 
foundation as a little child to trust him as an older child and eventually as an adult. Your job is to pass the torch. Now, if you don't believe in God or have a God foundation, you need to work on that so that you can pass that torch as well as put them around people who do to help them. For a person to be an atheist, they first have to have a, some idea of what God is. That's crazy, right? For me to say there is not a God, I have to acknowledge the idea of God. And I know God talks to everybody. Before I got saved, I know of times God was talking to me, giving me dreams, showing me my purpose. All I can say is, Give your children a foundation that's going to help them survive and thrive this world. Thrive means enjoy, live better. And if you don't want better for your kids than you had, and not just things, I mean just better quality of life, better mindset, better ideas. What are you as a parent? And that's something that you need to come to grips with within yourself. You created this child however they came. You decided to have this child. So be the responsible adult and give them what they need. And stop being lazy as a parent. If your child sucking his thumb at five years old and and not potty trained and stuff like that, you setting that child up to be picked on, to have more infections because they not they steadily putting their finger in their mouth and probably having some some teeth issues because they sucking their thumb. And I mean. Look at the multiplication of just being lazy as a parent. We all have our issues. We all have our time to heal, time to grow, time to be comforted. Just know what you keep looking at is going to produce the world in which you live. You keep looking at stress sex money murder violence that's what you're gonna think your world is you keep looking at peace and and i'm not saying just totally cancel out the news but your news should be what god is telling you about today on a regular basis your news should be more good than bad so your mind don't get clouded with all this negativity Everybody's selling something. It's just depending what you buying, what you receiving, what you accepting as truth. So learn that your mind is more powerful than you could think or imagine because that's how God made you. And he'll give you great things. You just, um, you just need to recognize the greatness that's in you. So y'all have a good one. I appreciate you listening. Make a vision board that helps you to see the you that you want to be, that's healthy for you, that you can handle, that you can appreciate. May God show you better than you can think or imagine in Jesus' name. Show you the you that you need to be better than you can think or imagine in Jesus' name. All right. Have a good day.